tough place to play. I'll tell you what, this place keeps getting better every year. The, 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 the gym looks better, the lighting's better. Don Arnhem's done a great job here. Tough place to play, the Bronx Zoo, especially with Suber there. I, I remember him as a player. So I played for Jack Bruin. I went to Colgate versus Ryder, and I knew how good Derek Suber was. He could really score lots of ways. So it's tough when the team gets honored. You know, the, the, the odds were against us because they're honoring a great team. It's a Sunday afternoon, and couldn't be prouder of our guys. Despite my coaching, they won that game. I mean that. Um, you know, made some offensive miscues. Thought maybe Marquise should have, you know, I thought he was going to drive it to the hoop, so he pulled up. That was a tough shot. You know, I wanted Evan to drive it a couple times baseline. Maybe they were tough passes to make, so it wasn't me. That was on the players. LeVon Long, just locomotive, keeps coming. Definitely not perfect, but no quitting him. And Ryan Oliver's shot was huge for us. You know, Ryan... Ryan had six points and two points, and should be player of the week in the MAC in terms of if this was the NBA where you only watched the last five minutes. What he did today, making that baseline jumper, and what he did having making two big threes. See, in other words, in the NBA, it matters what you do in the last couple of minutes. I know we're not in the NBA. But what Ryan did, and he played really solid defense, and then LeVon was just grabbing the rebounds. I'll take any questions. Two moving to fifth place now, and you have the tiebreaker on Ryder. How big a win is that? That's the most I mean, yeah, I mean, you can write that stuff, stuff for you guys. We have another game. But there's no tiebreakers till. March 3rd. But I mean, I'm not, I'm not being cynical, and Single Ace puts up with my cynicism a lot. It's just, we got to go to Quinnipiac, and this is a round robin league. I love this league. Our commission, see, this is a great league because our commissioner was at the game today. It's not because he's from New Jersey. They come around, they're involved, they're supporting all of us. It's a great basketball league. It's a great basketball league because everybody plays everybody twice. I was in the Atlanta Coast Conference every year that we played everybody twice. I was never there when you didn't. Then I went to the, I've never been in a league where you didn't play everybody twice. And with my personality, meaning I want to get guys back when they beat you or et cetera, et cetera. And I, I, I like, I'm one of the few guys that likes coaches. I do. Bayheim's my hero. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, welcome to Duke, Jim. How's it going down there? Did you like the land of cotton? So anyways, being the Northern Maryland, I, I stick up for Bayheim. He's my golfing compadre. To play two games against a team is the way that we all grew up. When I played at Catholic U, we, we, we high school, you play everybody twice, right? We all right, Montana Show, whatever. Then I go to the back. I've, I've never been in a league. We don't play everybody twice. So I'm looking forward to going to Queen of Piac. I'm sure they're going to try and kick our butts, and they're bigger than stronger than us, but we took them to overtime. You really get a real champ, and then you have things like tiebreakers that are legitimized by everybody playing everybody twice. So that being said, I'm, I'm down with that. I, I, as soon as Enzer said we were going to 20 games, I said that's a great thing. Good. Let's have play everybody. I like coming to Bronx Zoo. I haven't won here very much as a coach, so that was a big win for us. It was on the players. Ryan, can you talk about that go-ahead shot? I think you can only take one shot all game on that point. Uh, when you haven't been shooting much, uh, Feel like you're on a shooting rhythm, or how, how difficult the shot was that? Yeah, coach kept telling me to um, just be aggressive, attack when I can. So um, when my keys passed me the ball, I just went to um, get a good shot off before the buzzer. Didn't take the probably thought you were going to take the three. Yeah, you know, which I would have too. That's that's why it was an unbelievable play. And you went left, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, they thought he was going to take the three, and then he goes left and pulls up. That's that's Hollywood's creative. It's from, he was an actor when he was a child. He was from Hollywood. Is that a sign of growth, though, that your team is growing? They come back, fast break, layup, tied at 60, come down and it's a big shot, and then they don't score the rest of the way. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised they didn't score the rest of the way. We got, you know, hey, look, Miles had an off day. That's not anything we did defensively. We got lucky. Maybe, maybe, maybe we were unlucky two weeks ago. And like Johnny Cash said, the rivers will rise and they'll deposit the soil and you'll have a better fruitful season later. We thought we were going to drown last week. Maybe this is the enriched soil giving us good crops. We have Manhattan missed shots, and we have them go school us in the last two minutes at home. That's, let me tell you, I've been around a long time. That's some luck, and I'm grateful for that. You've played a lot of close games recently, so cases no dirt. Curse of Gary Williams, no blowouts. That, does that make you tough? I mean, does that get it's you true more when you're... Gary killed me. Never got blowouts. We never got him. I think teams are ready for us because we press, so they're never, like, caught off guard by us. Um, we have had a lot of close. That's what I mean. We, we, we have close games and lost, and now we've had two close right. games and won. I mean, that's... Does that, I mean, as a, 
Does that get the kids ready? I mean, when you're in that many close games, you're used to being in close games. He's yeah. 19. Marquise is 19. Are you 19? Yeah. 19. Marquise is 19. Ryan, Ryan had a bad knee injury. He didn't play last year. So that's – Bisping didn't play. Pool, pools, you only had to really play last year in Himes. That's it. So maybe we're getting better, but I still think it's kind of lucky, which is good. Yeah, LeVon, how much are you guys learning from all these close games you've been in? Is it helping you, do you think, as we're getting at the end of the season? Yeah, definitely. The more you uh, you're in the situation, the better prepared you are further down the line. So I think it helps a lot. You were in foul trouble. You didn't get to do much in the first half. Talk about your yeah, Levon. No, <laughs> stop fouling. Let's talk about your mentality in the second half. Uh, Jimmy said you were like a locomotive out there. What were you trying to approach? Uh, pretty much play like I had four fouls. Just don't do anything stupid and just stay in front of that guy. See, he's key for us at the end of the game. Some of those games we lost because you fouled out, you lost the games. No, I'm just kidding. You didn't. That was my fault. <laughs> I, I let guys play through fouls sometimes. LeVon's great at the end of the game because he, he inbounds, first of all, he's left-handed and he can inbound the ball. Then you throw it back to him, he can handle the ball. He's very good at ball handling. He's like, a, oh, he can play one through four. But he handles the ball well. So some of those games we lost, he fouled out. He's sitting next to me. That's not so good because he's our primary ball. Brett's very good at inbounding the ball. Right, Ryan, but not as such a good ball handler. Levon, we only have two people that inbound the ball, except at the end of the Maris game. But no, I'm just kidding. Actually, not. We had someone else touch the ball, and it didn't work. We had some, our ball. Our, the two people that inbound the ball are Levon Long and Brett Bisping. But Levon can throw it back and handle it. So, because that was that, they were trying to press us, and Levon was just passing around. And that was good. It was a good win. You can take the players. So. Speaking, speaking of pressing, you can about come out of that last media time out with the press, Jimmy. Uh, I think they just cut it to one and. 55, man. That's the way we're going to press and run. I told you that. I told you when I got the job, we're going to press and run. You can't press and be afraid. Now, we didn't think we'd get a turnover when we did. I just didn't want them rolling the ball up. Look, on, on the road, you got to be careful. They roll it up and everybody's clapping and all that. It's Last year, we won a game at Rhode Island. Bobby, Hur Danny Hurley, who's you know, a good coach, called timeout. <laughs> they were, there was a tie game. He called timeout. We pressed on the sideline, stole it, and won. Sometimes when you're a pressing team, the other team helps you by calling timeout. Now, if they throw it for a three like Duke used to against Maryland, then you look bad. But you can't be afraid of press. Players like to press. They want to press. But we weren't. We Did we think we were going to get a steal? No. We were just pressing, seeing if we could get them to rush around a little and then drop back. Because we're dropping back to a 2-3. We were not going to. We weren't like gambling, Mark, if that's what we, it was. It was just, it was like make it hard for them to inbound and run back to a 2-3. And they turned it over. And we got lucky. Like I said, we got lucky today.